Hi guys, Roll from Simple Wi-Fi, and in this video we're going to be covering what to do when your Pi-Fi repeater is not getting enough signal from your transmitting location. Okay, so let's cover what the Pi-Fi repeater does. It's a long-range Wi-Fi repeater that'll grab a signal from an existing hotspot and repeat it through a new router at a second location so that multiple devices can connect to it. The whole process is very easy, very simple, and it's plug and play. All you need to do is have a clear line of sight, elevation, and access to the signal. Okay, so since the Pi-Fi repeater is grabbing a signal that is leaking outside the last walls of the hotspot location, so let's say the hotspot location is your house, you have the router deep inside your house and everything is kind of leaking outside and available in your yard or your backyard, that's what the Pi-Fi repeater is grabbing and then feeding into the new router. So sometimes you don't get enough signal. It's minus 80, minus 70 dBm, that's a weak signal. And the, the users on the other side of the repeater's router aren't getting enough throughput. They're not getting really usable internet. So there's a couple things you can do to try to boost that, that hotspot's signal so that the Pi-Fi repeater has a better connection. Okay, so let's say you can't move your router. The next thing you can do is add stronger antennas to your existing router. You can either run a coax cable out to the roof or outside and then attach a directional panel or a directional Yagi or go with an omnidirectional 11 dBi antenna and that'll get your signal physically through the cable outside of, uh, eliminating all obstructions from within the house so that the repeater can then see a much better, clearer signal. We re really recommend this option one, because it's a lot easier. There's no networking or actual uh, tech stuff involved. It's just physically putting on a connector onto your router and then sending the signal up to a new antenna. If your router doesn't have detachable antennas, then you're gonna to need to go the route of an access point. Okay, so going the route of an access point is a little bit more technical and we don't recommend you do this alone. You gotta do some research on how to set up your access point in what's called AP mode. And basically an access point is a cousin of the router. Uh, it's sending and receiving signals out of one housing. It's got a radio and an antenna built into the same housing. The one that we recommend the most is the Ubiquiti Nano. Uh, and we have one here. And this is a physical representation of what a bridge or a wireless bridge is doing. So if you can connect to your router through an antenna uh, out on the roof, like, uh, like I talked about in the other example, uh, you can run some ethernet cable from the back of the router to the access point, and then the signal will travel to the Pi-Fi repeater and down into another router. So this, like I said, it is, requires a little bit more technical networking skills. Uh, you're gonna have to set this up uh, on your own and on site. But uh, once, once you got this going, it's really a nice solution because the antenna is built into the access point and it is directional, so you're gonna have to point it directly at the Wi-Fi repeater. Okay, so some other weird examples that we might come across are, okay, I, w I have my router inside the house and the barn or the second location or the metal shop where I have the Pi-Fi is just, it's, it's 200 yards in one direction, but I still wanna get better signal in the near close area around my house. If you use an access point, like that's very directional, you're not gonna get enough signal around the backyard and all that. It's just gonna point directly at the Pi-Fi. So what, we recommend, what I recommend in this situation is using an 11 dBi Omni as your transmitting antenna because that signal is round in, in the horizontal plane and also pretty, pretty level on the vertical plane so that you can get down to your backyard. The 15 dBi Omni might seem like the right choice because it's stronger, but that signal is actually very flat so that it can go out uh, further. The 11 dBi is a little bit more globe-like. Sometimes, if your router is close enough to the backyard, I might even recommend a 9 dBi so that you can get, uh, you can stay indoors, it stays in your house, it pushes just far enough outside so that you don't have to go through the mess of having to run cables and setting up an external antenna on the house. Another option that you can do instead of having to run uh, a cable to a new access point is putting a second router near a window or a second location inside your house so that the Pi-Fi can then grab that signal. So if you don't wanna run cable outside, you can ethernet from your existing router to a new router closer to 
the, the access to the last wall or window so that the PiFi can then grab signal from that second router inside your location. You'll spread better signal throughout your house. You have technically two zones uh, and it's kind of an easy way, non, ex, you know, you don't have to push through walls, you don't have to run cable aside and worry about mounts. So that could be another option for some people. So like I said, the PiFi repeater is a great and easy solution for grabbing signal from one location and repeating it through another. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to email us at support at simplewifi.com or give us a call. Thank you.